Hi everyone I welcome you all for this nursing wisdom channel today we are going to see about cervical dilatation normally the cervix remains closed and hard this protects the uterus from outside environment and any potential bacteria during labor the cervix changes from a tightly closed entrance to a fully open exit for the baby During labor intense contraction of the uterus help to move the baby down and put pressure on the cervix and cause it to open slowly definition cervical dilatation is defined as the gradual opening of the cervix which is measured in centimeters from 0 to 10 cm 0 cm means cervix not dilated 10 cm means cervix fully dilated once dilate to 10 cm ready to deliver baby in primary gravida an average cervix will dilate approximately 1 cm per hour in multi gravida cervix will dilate 1.5 cm per hour how to measure cervical dilatation doctors or midwives fingers actually do the measuring during vaginal examination your care provider will place two fingers inside your vagina and work out how many finger width fit into the opening of the cervix if one finger tip fits the cervix is considered to be 1 cm dilated if the tips of two fingers fit this means the cervix is dilated 2 cm depending on the distance the two fingers can stretch will indicate further dilatation it is usual to refer to full dilatation as 10 cm if you get your ruler or tape measure you can stretch your middle and index finger to get an idea of the way to estimate dilatation cervical dilatation based on finger tips 0 cm means a closed cervix that means cervix not dilated 1 cm dilated means cervix will allow tip of the finger 2 cm dilated means cervix will allow one finger 3 cm dilated means cervix will allow two fingers 4 cm dilated means cervix will allow three fingers 5 cm dilated means three fingers loose 6 cm dilated means cervix will allow four fingers 8 cm dilated means index and middle fingers stretched almost fully 10 cm dilated means index and middle fingers fully stretched cervical dilatation based on common eating items penny size means cervix dilated 2 cm oreo size means cervix dilated 4 cm Soda can size means cervix dilated 6 cm. Donut size means cervix dilated 8 cm. Bagel size means cervix dilated 10 cm. Closed and fully dilated cervix. A closed cervix, closed cervix means cervix not yet dilated during vaginal exam, unable to pass a finger through cervical os or cervical opening. A fully dilated cervix a fully dilated cervix is 10 cm open when cervix is measured with two fingers they can be stretched 10 cm across when you are fully dilated it's time to push and have a baby stages and phases of labor there are four stages of labor they are first stage second stage third stage and fourth stage first stage of labor from cervical dilatation 0 to 10 cm second stage of labor from complete dilatation and effacement of cervix to delivery of the baby third stage of labor from delivery of the baby to delivery of the placenta fourth stage means the first hour after delivery the first stage of delivery according to the cervical dilatation further divided into three phases they are phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 phase 1 otherwise called as latent phase it is from cervical dilatation 0 to 3 cm phase 2 otherwise called as active phase it is from cervical dilatation 4 to 7 cm 
Phase 3 otherwise called as transition phase. It is from cervical dilatation 8 to 10 cm. Symptoms of cervical dilatation Mucus plug During pregnancy, the os of the cervix is blocked by a thick plug of mucus to prevent bacteria from entering the uterus. During dilatation, this plug is loosened. It may come out as one piece or as thick mucus discharge from the vagina. When this occurs, it is an indication that the cervix is beginning to dilate. Bloody show. It is another indication that the cervix is dilating. Blood tissue usually comes along with the mucus plaque and may continue throughout the labor, making the mucus tinged pink, red or brown. The pain. The pain experienced during dilatation is similar to that of menstruation, markedly more intense. Most of the pain during labor is caused by the uterine contraction. It helps to dilate the cervix. Factors affecting cervical dilatation Dilatation of the cervix is achieved when the cervix dilated to 10 cm. How rapidly a female will progress to fully dilatation is depend on several factors including her parity, medical history, pelvic anatomy, size and position of the fetus. Parity, multigravidos progress to full dilatation more quickly than primigravidos. Medical history, a history of DM or GDM increases the likelihood of a large for gestational age fetus and macrosomia, potentially leading to labor complications such as the arrest of descent, a prolonged latent phase or active phase arrest. Pelvic anatomy, if the pelvic anatomy of the mother is too narrow or has any other anatomical anomaly, cephalopelvic disproportion between the fetus and the mother may lead to prolonged or arrest of labor. The size of the fetus and the position of the fetus at the time of labor. If the fetus is in the breech position, this may also lead to labor abnormalities and hinder the ability of the cervix to dilate fully. I hope you got clear about cervical dilatation. Thanks for watching.